good evening, good morning, whatever it is for you right now when you're watching this video. Me and my wife wanted to make a video today to plead for the lost souls that are hurting, mm -hmm. that are suffering, that are going through pain, that are going through certain sin, where you feel like you're too far away from God. You feel like you're, you, you, you doubt God, you question God, you question the existence of God. We wanted to come on here just to encourage you with just some Bible verses and just, or maybe our story can help encourage you. So I'll let my wife start to share. Or if you don't know God, just something that's on my heart, even just right now, is for the, the people that think that they can just live this life and they just think they'll have until they're 100 or they'll have many more years. Mm -hmm. When reality is we don't know when we're going to be taken. It could be in a second. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week. And the Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. And if we do not have Jesus or do not have faith in Jesus, we cannot go to heaven. Mm -hmm. We will not be in heaven. That is the truth. And I just want to share that with whoever is watching this that does not know God or does not put their trust in Jesus, that you have to believe in God. You have to open that door. Amen. You have to receive God. You have to receive him and put your trust in him. And you don't have to understand everything. You don't have to have all your questions answered. You don't have to be pure before God. You don't have to look nice. You don't have to be pretty. You don't. It doesn't have to look good to come to God. You come to Him right now. So I just pray that whoever's watching this, that right now you would choose Jesus. You would come to Him mm -hmm. right now. You know, He says, all who call upon my name with a broken and contrite spirit, I'll never turn away. He says, there's a verse that says, I, the Most High, dwell in the high and holy place but also with him who is lowly and humble. You know, if you're humble before God and you come to the Lord and you're like, Lord, I'm just so broken. I can't overcome. I can't do this right. I can't. I, I need you. I need your help, Lord Jesus. If you keep coming to him, he'll keep helping you. Yes. He says, never will I leave you and never will I forsake you. I will not leave you as an orphan. I will come to you. Mm -hmm. He says, I will come to you. You know, many of you are wondering, why is my family member suffering? Why mm -hmm. am I suffering? Mm -hmm. How are you still good? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to answer that question for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to encourage you just to go to God. Mm -hmm. You cry out to Him mm -hmm. with your questions, with your answers. Jeremiah says, call to me and I will answer you and show you things that you do not know. Mm -hmm. When you call, call to him, him, He'll answer you. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He's knocking on the door of your heart right now. The Holy Spirit is. Mm -hmm. Today is the day of salvation. Today, he says, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Mm -hmm. Today is the day of salvation, my friends. Yes, right now in this moment. Don't say, well, I just sinned 30 minutes ago. He says, boldly come mm -hmm. before the throne of grace mm -hmm. that you may obtain mercy in the time of need. Mm -hmm. For in a favorable, favorable time I have helped you. Mm -hmm. This is what the Lord says in the word. Go, go look it up. Jesus had to become like us. He had to become a human. Mm. So that way he can intercede when we come to that throne of grace. When we come to Jesus with our sin. When we come to him. When we have fallen short of the glory of God. We come to him. Mm -hmm. And he understands. He doesn't turn us away. He doesn't shame us. We can come to him. He wants us to come to him. That's why he was made like us. So he can understand. When I was in my broken season. Well. I feel like every day is a broken season. But when I was in my worst. That's when the Lord called me. When everybody was going to just push me off to the side. That's when the Lord Jesus called me. When our relationship was about to end, that's when the Lord stepped in. Mm -hmm. When everything was going wrong, that's when the Lord likes to step in. Mm -hmm. He wants to step in now, right now, in this moment, mm -hmm. whatever you're going through. Send this to someone who needs to hear this yes. right now. This message is sure. for them. This message is for you today. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're watching this five years from now. 
a day from now, right now, whatever, whenever you're watching this, this is for you today. The Holy Spirit has something for you today. And it's salvation. It's a free gift. Mm -hmm. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Mm -hmm. Can't come before God and say, wow, that's why I did it. Because I was so sober. I, was, I sobered up. I stopped doing the drugs. I stopped mm -hmm. uh, the lust. That's why you mm -hmm. called me. No, that's not why he called you. For while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever should believe in him will not perish, mm -hmm. but have eternal life. Mm -hmm. that's true. Today... Right now, in this moment, it's the day is the day to have eternal life. And the Bible says this is a testimony how they overcame. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb, mm -hmm. which is Jesus Christ, Jesus. and the word of their testimony. That's your testimony, mm -hmm. our testimony. Mm -hmm. We overcome by not what we can do, but by what Jesus did on that cross. Mm -hmm. The finished work on the cross. Jesus Christ was on that cross, bleeding, tormented, torturing for you. For your sin. Your sin nailed him to the cross. Mm -hmm. My sin nailed him to the cross. A crown of thorns. They fed him the, the sour wine. Pierced his rib. Blood and water came out. The blood. That, over, that way we overcome the water. Which we are baptism. Which we are baptized in. It symbols what... It's not just a symbol, actually. It's the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. No man comes to the Father except by me. There's no, no man. There's no other way. There's no, no way. You can't say, well, I have the, the the crystal I touch, or I have mm -hmm. the, I pray to my, my mom who died. I pray to a my dead grandma who died. Member. No, no, stop, stop. No. Jesus wants you. He wants you to come to him. Mm -hmm. They can't pull you into heaven. Maybe they were a godly Woman, Maybe they were a godly man, but they can't take you into heaven. The only way to go to heaven is through Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how good a person is. It's only Jesus. He's after your soul. He cares about you. He loves you. He wants your soul. He was on that cross for your soul. He took your sin to, to have your soul. He wants you. He wants you to have him. Amen. This is a verse, it's Romans 8, 38. I'm convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So whatever you're going through and whatever you will go through, just know that you can always cling to Jesus. Amen. Don't turn from him in the suffering. Don't turn from him. Cling to him. Come to him. How Whatever brokenness that looks like, crawl to him if you have Amen. to. Run to him. Just Amen. go to Jesus with your suffering. Go to Jesus with no matter what you're going through. Nothing. No sickness. No disease. No torment. No punishment. No persecution. Nothing can take you from the love of Jesus. Nothing. Amen. We're just going to close with this, that God loves you so much. He's calling you. He wants you. He loves you. So I'll pray for you. Father God, who's ever watching this, you know them by name, Lord. You have called them by name, Lord. Today, I pray that they would repent and turn to you, Lord, with all their heart. And call upon your name with a contrite spirit. In truth, call upon your, call, calling upon your name. I just pray this in Jesus' name. Save Amen. Amen. Hey, if this video touched you, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. So that way whoever needs to see this can see it. And uh, God bless you guys in Jesus' name.